guys, it's Crystal and thanks for stopping by to see how I did my DIY deep conditioner. Now what you'll need is avocado, aloe vera juice or gel, shea butter, honey, olive oil, and some coconut milk. Now I poured the can into my measuring cup and it was about two cups and we only need one cup. So I take the other half and put it in a little baggie and throw in the freezer to refrigerate. Never throw anything away, you can always reuse it. Now I'm going to just cut the avocado in half, pop out the seed, and then scrape out all the goodness inside. Okay, we're done. Throw that avocado into the blender, add a little bit of coconut milk to get it stirring, and press the puree button and let it go. Now for the other ingredients, shea butter and olive oil for added moisture, also honey as a humectant and some aloe vera juice as a moisturizer and a detangler. To see how I made that aloe vera gel right there, click on the link below. Alright, now our consistency is really creamy and thick. I put avocado in my hair before when it wasn't pureed and let's just say it was a mess. Now because I just did my big chop, I'm only going to need half of this recipe. So like I did with the coconut milk, the other half goes into a baggie and then we're going to throw it in our fridge and just let it thaw it out next time from when we want to deep condition our hair. I do a protein treatment once a month so this is a wonderful recipe and very long lasting. Now before I deep condition, I'm going to shampoo my hair using my Bow Beam Shampoo Bar Honey and Oats. It really lathers and I absolutely love it. Review coming soon. Now it's time to apply goes on really smooth and creamy and I was so surprised that I was actually able to detangle my hair with it. Stay tuned for the review at the end. Hey guys, it's Crystal here, and thanks for stopping by my channel, Mini Miss Hair. Um, if it seems like I'm kind of wearing the same outfit in here, I'm trying to get a bunch of videos done today. But let's get right into it. So, um, you guys have just watched my deep conditioning video, and I'm just so proud of myself because I've been really playing around in the, the kitchen. And I have tried avocado deep conditioner before, and it was a hot mess because I didn't have a blender, and I had chunks of avocado in my hair. So, puree, puree, puree until it is baby food smooth if you don't have a blender go buy some avocado baby food if they sell it I know they sell banana ones um, 
And when you incorporate that coconut milk, adding that liquid, monitor it so it doesn't make it too soupy so it's not going down your neck. I cannot stand when there is some dripping down my neck. But um, yes, it just made it really, really smooth. Um, when I put it on, surprisingly, I was able to detangle my hands with my fingers. I did not use a comb, but I was just really shocked that I was able to do that. I didn't think it was going to give me that much slip. Maybe it was the olive or shea butter that was in it. I don't know. Or the coconut milk. But I really enjoyed that factor. I rinsed it out. My hair felt super strong because as we all do know avocados i believe have omega-3 and it also is a really awesome protein as well as coconut milk and i need a good just protein treatment for my hair i just felt like it sounded like rubber bands in the water and it was just stretching all over the place and if you don't know if you need a protein treatment or not i do have a video which you can click right here that talks about protein and moisture balance um one thing I love about this DIY summer edition of all these projects in your kitchen is because one, they are super cheap. Coconut milk is like 99 cents or less. Um, avocado, depending where you can get it, you can get it for like a dollar or less what grocery store you're um, going to. Um, and everything else you'll have like in your kitchen, usually you have shea butter on hand maybe. And you're definitely going to have olive oil on hand or whatever oil you want to use. You can substitute in. Um... I made my hair feel really, really strong. It made my curls really pop. Gave my hair back some structure. Um, I didn't even follow up with a deep... I, that was my deep conditioner. I didn't follow up with anything else. The only thing I did was just as soon as I put my moisturizer on, I felt my hair get moisturized. The avocado and the coconut milk, don't get me wrong, did moisturize my hair. But, like, um, it just felt more strong. It didn't feel dried or stripped or anything like that. It just felt really, really strong. So, I just used... Um, my Darcy Botanicals um, styling cream and that's how I achieved this look as you can see here and if you're interested about that product click the link right there and um, it was just awesome I'll probably do that protein treatment once a month I was able to save I used about half of it since my hair is so short for ladies here who's like pretty long, I think that recipe is perfect enough to cover all your strands. I was still able to save half the can of the coconut milk, which I put in the freezer because we don't throw anything away. And I was able to save half of the mixture and put it into a Ziploc bag. Another way to preserve those things is just to put them in like some uh, ice cube tray or to put it into a bottle and freeze it and then just let it um, thaw out on the counter. I didn't have any bottles on hand because I keep putting everything in a bottle. But um, it was just awesome. It made my hair feel really, really strong. And my curls were just popping. And I just love that I was able to do it myself. I'm trying to think. If anything, hmm, what would I change about it? I still want a little bit more moisture. But the oil was the right enough balance. I didn't make my hair feel oily or greasy. So maybe I'll mix some homemade rose water in there uh, are you interested in seeing me make some homemade rose water let me know because it's so easy um but that's my review of it i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any diy recipes you want me to try out or um you have tried out tell me about because i'm so interested please send me your diy natural hair relax hair transitioning hair recipes because i'm super interested in it because i'm really enjoying enjoying this i am having so much fun with you guys you guys are awesome and i hope to see you guys soon so thanks for watching and happy healthy hair journey bye i really hope you guys enjoy these diy tutorials that i've been doing for the summer i really enjoy them myself don't forget to subscribe rate or comment and follow me on any of these networks facebook twitter instagram or tumblr see you guys soon bye